test number 12 we need to evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 tan x dx so this will be integral 0 to pi by 2 so tan x will be uh, sin x by cos x dx so let us put u equal to uh, sin sorry u equal to cos x uh, so du will be equal to so derivative of cos will be minus sin x dx um, and uh, as x varies from 0 to pi by 2 u will vary from so cos 0 will be equal to 1 and cos pi by 2 0 so we will get integral 1 to 0 so sin x dx will be minus du by u so integral of uh, 1 by u will be uh, minus log mod u will come from 1 to 0 so this will be minus uh, log 0 minus log 1 so we know that log 0 uh, is not defined uh, so therefore the integral will be uh, divergent so that will be uh, the value of integral it will be uh, divergent now question number 13 we need to evaluate uh, integral 0 to 1 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx uh, so the antiderivative of 1 by root of 1 minus um, x square will be uh, sin inverse of x so applying the limit from 0 to 1 so we will get sin inverse of 1 minus sin inverse of 0 sin inverse of 1 will be pi by 2 and sin inverse of 0 is 0 so uh, the integral value will be equal to pi by 2 and uh, question number 14 we need to evaluate integral 0 to 1 uh, x by uh, root of 1 minus x square dx so for this we will use a substitution u equal to uh, 1 minus x square so du will be minus 2x dx and uh, as x varies from 0 to 1 u will vary from so when x is 0 u is 1 and when x is 1 u will be 0 so this will be integral 1 to 0 so x dx will be du by minus 2 uh, root of u uh, so uh, integral of 1 by 2 root u will be equal to root u and we have a minus sign here so applying the limit from 1 to 0 so we will get uh, minus of of 0 will be 0 minus root 1 will be 1 so value of integral will be uh, equal to uh, 1 and question number 15 we need to evaluate integral 1 to 2 1 by x root of uh, x square minus 1 dx now for evaluating uh, this integral we will use the substitution u equal to uh, root of x square minus 1 so that will give us du equal to 1 by 2 root x square minus 1 into 2x dx uh, so that will be x by root of x square minus 1 uh, dx uh, so uh, dx by root of uh, x square minus 1 uh, is going to be equal to du by x and uh, from this equation uh, we have u square equal to x square minus 1 so um, x square will be u square plus 1 and this will give us x equal to root of u square uh, plus 1 so um, uh, we can write uh, so let us first write the integrand uh, so we will get uh, 1 by so in place of x we will have root of u square plus 1. So we have substituted x over here and uh, dx by uh, root of uh, x square minus 1 uh, will be uh, du by uh, x. So that will be uh, integral du and x is again root of u square plus 1. So that will give us u square uh, plus 1. Now, um, 
x varies from uh, 1 to 2. So, x varies from 1 to 2. Uh, so, therefore, u will vary from, now u is uh, root of x square minus 1. So, when x is equal to 1, u will be 0 and at 2, we will get root of 2 square minus 1. Uh, so, that will be root 3. So, we will get the limit as 0 to root 3 du by u square plus 1. Uh, now, this will be antiderivative of 1 by u square plus 1 will be tan inverse of u from 0 to root 3. So, that will be tan inverse of root 3 uh, minus tan inverse of 0. So, tan inverse of root 3 will be pi by 3 and tan inverse of 0 is 0. So, therefore, uh, the integral value will be uh, tan inverse of, uh, sorry, uh, pi by 3. Question number 16, we need to evaluate integral 2 to infinity, 1 by x into root of x square minus 1 dx. Uh, now, the integrand is uh, same as uh, the previous question. So, we will be uh, using the same substitution, u equal to root of x square minus 1. Uh, now, once we use that substitution, uh, we will be getting the new integrand as 1 by u square plus 1. So, uh, we will get du by u square plus 1. Now, uh, here x varies from 2 to infinity. So, u will vary from root of 2 square minus 1. So, that will be 3. So, u will vary from root 3 to infinity. Uh, now, uh, the integral of 1 by u square plus 1 will be tan inverse of u. Applying the limit from root 3 to infinity, we will get tan inverse of infinity minus tan inverse of root 3. So, that will be pi by 2 minus pi by 3. Uh, the difference will be pi by uh, 6. So, that will be the uh, value of the integral. And uh, question number 17. Uh, we need to evaluate uh, integral 1 to 2, 1 by uh, x minus 1, uh, x square minus 1 uh, dx, uh, x square plus 1 dx. Um, for question 17 and 18, again we have the same integrand. So, first we will integrate this function. Now, for integrating this, um, we will use uh, partial fraction. So, uh, we will... Uh, split this into uh, two terms. So, we have uh, two factors here. So, this can be expressed in the form a by x minus 1 plus. Now, this is an irreducible factor. Uh, so, on numerator, we will be having bx plus c by uh, x square plus 1. Now, uh, equating the numerator on both sides. So, on the left side, we will get 1 and uh, this will be equal to a into x square plus 1 plus uh, bx plus c into uh, x minus 1 by x minus 1 into x square plus 1. So, 1 will be equal to, so this will be the numerator on uh, the right side. So, a x square plus 1 plus bx plus c uh, into uh, x minus 1. Uh, so, if we put x equal to 1, uh, we will be getting 1 equal to uh, 2 times a, this term will become 0. So, therefore, we will get a equal to 1 by 2. Now, um, uh, equating uh, the coefficient of uh, x square on both sides. So, on the left side, coefficient of x square will be 0 and on the right side, coefficient of x square will be here we have a and when we multiply uh, the first term um, in this product we will be getting uh, b x square as a term. So, uh, b also will be a coefficient of x square. Now, we already have a equal to 1 by 2. So, therefore, we will get b equal to minus a which is minus 1 by 2. Now, uh, let us uh, put uh, x equal to uh, 0. So, if x equal to 0, we will get 1 equal to a uh, plus c times minus 1. So, therefore, uh, c will be equal to a minus 1. So, that will be 1 by 2 minus 1, which is minus 1 by 2. So, uh, 
uh, that will be the value of a b and uh, c so we will be getting uh, 1 by x minus 1 into x square plus 1 equal to so a is 1 by 2 so we will get 1 by 2 by x minus 1 plus uh, b is b and c are minus uh, 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2x minus 1 by 2 by uh, x square plus 1 so we need to evaluate integral uh, 1 to 2 now uh, the integral will be 1 by 2 by x minus 1 we can take minus 1 by 2 outside uh, then uh, x plus 1 by x square plus 1 uh, dx uh, so uh, this will be uh, equal to uh, integral 1 to 2 so we can take 1 by 2 outside 1 by x minus 1 minus uh, x by x square plus 1 minus 1 by uh, x square plus 1 dx so uh, the uh, integrand, uh, integral will be 1 by 2 log uh, modulus of x minus 1 minus 1 by 2 uh, log modulus of x square plus 1 minus tan inverse of x where the limit is from uh, 1 to 2. So um, the first and third are uh, we know the integration formula so that is direct. Now for evaluating the middle integral uh, we will use the substitution u equal to x square plus 1 so du will be uh, 2x dx so the integral will be so x dx will be du by 2 and x square plus 1 will be u so we will get 1 by 2 log mod u and replacing u we will get 1 by 2 uh, log x square plus 1 and now uh, applying the limits uh, we will get 1 by 2 so at 2 we will get log 1 uh, minus 1 by 2 uh, log 2 square plus 1 will be 5 minus uh, tan inverse of 2 minus at 1 we will be getting log 0 minus 1 by 2 uh, log 1 minus tan inverse of 1. Uh, so we have uh, log 0 term here which is not defined. So therefore, uh, the integral will be uh, divergent uh, in this case. Uh, now let us uh, do the uh, next uh, problem. So question number 18. So question number 18 again uh, we have the uh, same uh, integrand. So we will write what is the value of integral and we will just apply the limits. So, we need to evaluate integral 2 to infinity 1 by x minus 1 uh, x square plus 1 uh, dx. So, uh, the integral will be, uh, so this will be the integral value 1 by 2 uh, log. So, that will be 1 by 2 uh, log modulus of x minus 1 minus 1 by 2 uh, log x square plus 1 minus tan inverse of x. So minus tan inverse of x uh, from 2 to infinity. Uh, so we will get 1 by 2 uh, log infinity minus 1 by 2. Uh, okay. uh, so before applying the limits, so we can write this as uh, log Uh, modulus of x minus 1 and uh, this can be taken as a power. So, we will get um, log root of x square plus 1 and we have uh, in the form log a minus log b. So, we can uh, so log a minus log b will be equal to log a by b. Uh, so, this can be uh, simplified as log x minus 1 by root of x square plus 1. Now since um, there is no uh, possibility of a negative term at this limits, 
uh, I am removing the modulus so we will get 